Baltimore Magazine is out with its list of 50 best restaurants. Yes, and Jane Marion, the food and dining editor for Baltimore Magazine, joins us now with Who Made the List. Good morning, Jane. Thanks for being up early with us. Good morning. Yeah, this is a table for one at Petit Louis Bistro in Roland Park. <laughs> Very cool, Jane. Yes, you have quite a spread in front of you. So talk about what does it take to be a best restaurant in Baltimore? Yes, there's so many factors. So for Petit Louis, I actually say there's a certain je ne sais quoi about this place. But it's everything from the decor and the ambiance to the food and the service. But even within that, you know, service is, um, you know, things like explaining the mission of the menu or what is the timing between courses. I look at everything. Is a menu stained? Is a bathroom clean? If they're flowers, are they fresh? I go on and on and on. So it's, it's those things and um, sometimes there's just this X factor and the magic of a space that you feel when you walk in. Uh, here at Petit Louis, it starts with the minute you walk in, there's a Frenchman greeting you and saying bonjour in beautiful French sort of setting the scene and the tone of the place and letting you know that you're in a place that's very authentic. How many restaurants do you go to a year? <laughs> well, I've actually done that math uh, hundreds. Uh, wow. I don't have an exact number right now, <laughs> but I'm eating out all the time, uh, probably three, four times a week. Uh, so this issue, you know, I started in earnest in August, but it's really almost a daily exercise of eating out and and always having a notepad, you know, from the first sip of water, I sometimes know how a restaurant's going to be, you know, just based on the, the, the glass itself or, you know, is it clean, is it dirty, um, you know, um, is the place warm and welcoming from the minute I sit down. Yes, and I do love Petit Louis. Are there some restaurants that are maybe surprises for this year that made the list? Well, one of the big surprises just in general uh, that's a wonderful surprise is that this is the year that Maryland really has been on the map. We've gotten shout outs in um, Bon Appetit and Esquire, Ooh. places like Clavel uh, just uh, is up for a James Beard Award along with perennial James Beard darling Charleston. Um, places like uh, True Chesapeake has a beverage director, uh, Ch Chelsea Gregoire who uh, was just nominated uh, Best Beverage Director of the Year. Uh, we're seeing places like a little place called Larder that's on our list. Uh, the chef is from a place called Chez Panisse that's very famous in Berkeley, California. Um, lots of, of chefs are, are flocking to Baltimore um, to cook here. And um, we're, you know, Baltimore is really, really becoming a food town. It gets stronger every year. And I always say the issue is only as strong as the food scene. So I happen to think this is just a really strong issue because the, the food scene is so great this year. Well, we love to hear that. Yes, I'm so people are I still have coming to here. Pick that yeah, up. restaurants are coming here yep. because, of course, who doesn't love food? Yes. And what a fun job you have! Yes. I am very We're, jealous. I'm jealous as you well. You get to go around and just try all this food. I hear that all the time. <laughs> if you <laughs> ever need door. a partner. <laughs> Unassisted. Let me know. She I can, holds the notepad well, for you. you know, it, it, it is fun to think about who to take with you as a dining companion because I've literally, you know, I have a friend, I, I forgot she was a vegetarian and then invited her to a steakhouse. So that didn't work out. Oh. So well. um, my husband is gluten free, which I find really annoying. Um, so if I go out for pizza to review, I usually don't invite him. I take a friend who actually likes pizza. A lot of thought goes into this. It's not just, you know, eating uh, right. with abandon. It's, it's really thinking about the process and, and what the, uh, the restaurateurs are trying to do. Well, fortunately for you, I eat everything. So yes. just call me if you ever <laughs> run on the list. <laughs> okay, thank you, Absolutely. Jane.